Hi, this is Larry Zorro. Today we're going to talk about rapture deception. After the rapture of the church, many of the religious will band together. They will explain. The rapture of the church did not happen. It was never foretold. It was a lie. The disappearance of many of the religious was not an act of mob, but an act of judgment and world cleansing. Even 2 Kings chapter 1 verse 10, And there came down fire from heaven and consumed. God had cleansed the earth by fire and has chosen a people, zealous of good works. The anti-church had not been raptured, but consumed in the fire of God's wrath. The unsanctified fallen church will think that they have been chosen to usher in the kingdom of God, but instead they will be ushering in the kingdom of Satan. Visible signs from heaven will not sway the fallen church. They will say, after the rapture, The visage of God and of the Lamb was not real, but was a form of mental delusions put there by Satan himself. God is a God of love toward his chosen, the fact that we have survived the big one shows that we are safe in the bosom of our God. God is not punishing us. It is the devil and his false messiah. The real Yeshua will not come in wrath, but in benevolence for all the children of men. The fallen church will crawl out from the rubble after the rapture and join hands with all the religions of the world. They would begin rebuilding that which was torn down. They believed that God had chosen them for such a time as this to bring in the kingdom of God. The fallen church will continue their folly so much so that they will accept the Antichrist as their savior. They will eagerly await the day when their false god enters into the temple showing himself that he is the true God. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 4, Who opposes and exalteth himself above all that is called God, or that is worship, so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Jesus foretold that many will come in his name, saying that he is Christ, but they will deceive many. Are you a child of grace or a child of merit? Do you trust in Christ or you trust in yourself? Are you needful for salvation like the thief on the cross? Or are you deceived like the rich man thinking he obeyed all the commands of God and that he deserves heaven? The great falling away has already started. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 3. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. Are you looking for the man of sin or the Son of God? Look up, my sisters and brethren. Lift up your heads, for your redemption draweth nigh. This is Larry Zorro. See ya.